Welcome, this is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina, I'm the mommy. Welcome, if this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys, on this happy Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Hope that you're having a great day today, that you all have had a great week thus far, and that you all are well. Okay, guys, um, today has definitely been wild Wednesday for me. <coughs> My last couple days have been wild. Um, so, before we go to prayer time, I'm going to explain what's been going on and where I've been. Look at the baby um, while, while you're talking. Look at her looking at you. She is looking at me, isn't she, Mom? Yes, she is. <laughs> I think we just gave it away. Aww. I think we just gave away why I've not been around the last couple of days. Okay, guys, here it is. The reason I haven't been around since Saturday is because Saturday afternoon I went to see my mom at the assistant living. When I walked in, you guys know that she has been sick. Well, I found out that Friday night they took Bob back to the hospital and that he he had um, something wrong with his legs. He had, had something wrong with his legs. And they, um, well, you know, Anyway, <coughs> this is what happened. I walked in. Mom still wasn't doing good. She wasn't standing up straight. She, she could barely stand. And she was losing her balance. And she just wasn't doing good. Now, one of the nurses and I had talked about it before. Me signing her out on a temporary leave. So... Guess what I did on Saturday when I went in? I saw the condition my mom was in and I signed her out. Um, two hours after I got her home, I called the PCP. I called her primary care doctor and I was told by the triage nurse to get her to the emergency room immediately. Um, the reason I'm telling you guys all this because this is going to be part of prayer time as well. Um, so we went to the ER. They gave her some IV fluids. And they ended up um, diagnosing her with the flu, which is why she's been so knocked out and hasn't wanted to eat. Um, but they said her appetite should come back here within the next couple of days. Um, so we're hoping, I did get her to eat a potato chip today for lunch. Oh boy. One potato chip. But I am getting her to drink for me. Um, and so, anyway, um, and she was diagnosed with something else. And they gave me an antibiotic for that. And she's taking her antibiotic and she's doing quite well on it. Um, we will find out next Tuesday if the antibiotic worked because I did ask the PCP to do another lab work for that to make sure that she didn't need any more antibiotic for it. Um, but anyway, with Bob being in the hospital again and we don't know when, I was thinking of taking her out anyway, okay? I'm going to tell you guys flat out, I was thinking of signing her out temporarily till Bob went back um, because she was kind of missing him being in there all by herself. And so <coughs> we decided she needed family after all this. So she perked up. She's perked up a lot and she's gotten a lot stronger. She's not as weak as she was. Um, she's eating little bits and pieces here and there. Um, she'll start eating again. I know my mom, she'll start eating again and when she does, she'll eat. Um, and then, um, but anyway, she's going to be here with me for a while. As a matter of fact, she's going to be here with me. Open for? She's going to be here. Um, so Monday, we were just exhausted. Sunday, you know, I don't do videos on Sundays anyway, but we didn't get back from the emergency room till 2.30 in the morning on Sunday morning. Um, and then, of course, you know, we rested up. I went and I got her antibiotic and went to the 
the store and got a few odds and end things that we would need. And then um, she's with me for a little long haul. As a matter of fact, she's with me. That's all I'm going to say on the subject. She's with me now, right now. Um, Bob is getting ready to go into a rehab. Puppy love. Um, <laughs> Bob's getting ready to go into a rehab. And um, so that should help him. Um, just to let you all know, Jordan and I are looking for a new place to put them. Um, I'm not going to say much on that subject. Um, but I just, I wanted you guys to know what was going on because I have been off for two days, for a couple days and I know, you know, I haven't, I haven't been around and I'm sorry. Um, Look, it's sneaky. I have not been around. So anyway. As you can see though, today we are going to do Wild Wednesday hosted by Penny and Keith over at Playful Reborns. And of course, we've got several wild things for you today. For who? One is what Mabel is wearing. Not her bib, guys. The 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 fleece the fleece zip up sweatshirt she's got on is wild with a monkey. Now Get your butt out of my face the other wild thing is her bottle as you can see her bottle has some wild flowers on it and a turtle of course we've got this wild thing next to me wild thing yeah he's been a wild thing today guys jeremiah has been a wild thing today and then it's got a bird on it too but anyway guys I'm going to apologize for not being around. And we are going to do prayer time. And then, um, just so you know, my mom and I are drinking Wild Cherry Pepsi out of Wild Cups. Here's mine. Mine is from the Disney store. Sorry, guys. What's in there? Wild Cherry Pepsi, zero. And my mom has, let me show you what she has in hers first. I'll put Miss Mabel down here for now, and I will show you guys what mom has in hers first. What about this dog? And that huh? baby. Huh? That's... Mom's got hers, too. Hold on, Ma. I'll put this back over. I'll give this back to you in a minute. Okay. It was sitting next to her, guys. And she is drinking Wild Cherry Pepsi Zero out of a wild cup. So several wild things today for Wild Wednesday. Now, here you go, Ma. Why is it cold in here? Shouldn't be cold in here. Well, it is. <coughs> but anyway. Yeah, what? Well, you want a blanket, a Ma? Can I take a drink? Of course you can, Mom. It's your soda. Drink it. Drink away. We are getting fluids in her, by the way. That is the one thing I am getting in her. Um, And then... Look at the little guy laying down there. Yeah, a little guy's laying by your feet, isn't he? Yes. Of course, Jeremiah is enjoying having Grandmom here as well. Um... Maybe while grandmom's, you know, he's enjoying having grandmom here. I love you. So, did you see those eyeballs come up when yeah, I Yeah, when one? you did that. Yeah, you should have seen Jeremiah when she was like playing with him. His eyes went, oh, his eyes baby. lit up. That's adorable. So, anyway, guys, we are going to feed Miss Mabel and do prayer time. But one of my prayer requests, I do have a prayer request today. Um, for my mom, that she gets better and gets her appetite back and that her balance stays good. Um, one of the reasons why they wanted me to get her to the ER is because she was dehydrated 
and um, her ankles were swollen, which is an indication of serious dehydration. And she wasn't balancing right, which is another indication of serious dehydration. So that's why I took her to the ER on, on Saturday night. And that's why she's basically here with me. Um, Bob is still, you know, I keep telling her when she eats, she can go see Bob. She can go see her sweetie when she eats. She really likes that soda, guys. She really likes her soda. But anyway, um, could you all pray for my mom's appetite that it will come back quickly and that she will keep getting stronger while well, she, she will keep getting stronger and that the heater so it doesn't, so it gets warm in here. Oh, good. So, but that is my explanation too of where I've been. That is where I've been. So guys, let's pray. Shall we do prayer time? Um, let's pray for Bob as well. Um, he is on his way to rehab. I don't know when, but we don't know when he's leaving for rehab, but the next two weeks are very crucial. Um, and Jordan and I have to find a place for them. Um, it just, it's imperative. Um, let's put it this way. I'm hoping to go see one this weekend. So we need to pray for that. One with a very nice apartment in memory care. So we're going to look at that. Um, there are other options that we have. Um, but my stepmother and I are in agreement that mom wasn't getting care for mom and Bob wasn't getting care for mom. So we need to... Well, that's all I'm going to say on that subject right now. Um, but pray that Jordan and I have wisdom to know where to put them. And, um, and take a deep breath. And let's go to prayer, shall we? And pray for Bob as he goes to rehab. Um, just like I said, the next two weeks are very crucial for him. And so let's pray, guys. Um, all I'm going to say on Bob going to rehab and that being crucial is he's got to get use of his legs back. Um, and he's being assessed by the best rehab hospital there is at this point. So. Um, anyway, let's pray, guys. You want to go to prayer with me, Mom? Let's bow our heads and pray, shall we? Where do we have to go? Right here. Good. We're go praying ahead. right now. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you and we just praise you and we just thank you for who you are. Lord, I thank you that you are that you are so great and you are so wonderful to us and that you love us so much and that you give us wisdom in, in times that when we need it, you give it to us and, and you push us in the right direction and we just thank you for that. And Lord, we just thank you that you are there for us through everything. Lord, first of all, I think of I just think of Bob now. I think if he's, he's laying in that bed and as he's getting ready to go to to rehab with a very uncertain future. I just pray, Lord, you only you know what the future holds. And I just pray that you, you will just reach down. You will touch and heal his legs. You will strengthen his legs at this point in time that he will be able to get up and he will be able to walk, that he will have no more problem with the MRSA, that you will just continue to, to, to touch and heal his MRSA in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray that you will just be with 
Jordan and I, that you will give us the wisdom that we need to know where to put mom and Bob and that you will send a place that they can afford a nice place, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord, I just pray now that you will just be with mom. I just reach out my hand to my mom now. Lord, I am reaching out my hand and I am praying that you will just touch and heal her body completely. Take the back pain away in Jesus' name. Take the knee pain away in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you will just take the remnants of this the, the remnants of the flu and that you will take it away in Jesus' name and that you will give her her appetite back in Jesus' mighty name. Give my mom the appetite that she needs in Jesus' name so she will be able to eat eat again fully. And Lord, I do pray that you will just be with her. Just bless her. I pray that you will bless my mom, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray now that you will just be with be with Colleen. I pray that you will just be with her restless leg syndrome, that you will continue to have the spray work on her legs in Jesus name, and that you will give her strength and energy as she is asking for strength and energy, Lord. As she, and I just pray, Lord, that you will just be with, with Anne-Marie. I pray, Father God, that you will give Anne-Marie your strength and your energy as she's fighting chronic fatigue and muscle pain. I just pray that you will bless her. And Father, whatever she still has, I pray that if she still doesn't feel well, that you will just be with her and that you will just give her give her healing in her body in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray for Noah, that you will touch and heal Noah. Lord, I pray as he has an appointment at the doctor's on March the 26th, that you will just be with him there. I just pray that you will just be with him, that you will go with him, that Father, that first and foremost, that you will touch and heal the pinched nerve in his neck. Give him use of his arm again. Take any pain that he has and way in Jesus name. And Lord, I do pray now for Lori. I pray that you will continue <coughs> to strengthen her body. I pray, Father God, that you will continue to to lift, I just continue to lift her up. And Lord, I do pray now for Carrie. Lord, as Carrie has to have surgery, I just pray that you will just be with her, be with the doctors, guide the doctor's hands, be in the operating room. Lord, as she goes through this surgery, I pray that they will get all the cancer in Jesus' name, that she will just have no complications and that she will have a quick and speedy recovery in Jesus' mighty name, that you will work all things out for her. And Lord, I do pray also for for um, for Lori's daughter-in-law's mother, Susan. I pray that you will just take any pain that she might have away in Jesus' name. I pray that you will walk that family through what they are going through and that you will give them your peace, your peace that path is all understanding. And that, Lord, as the doctors don't have very good news, <coughs> well, I just pray that you will just, you will turn it around for them in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray now for, for my sweet sister and best friend Susie as she's been sick. I pray that you will continue to strengthen her body. I pray, Father God, that you will just touch and heal her knees, that you will take her knee pain away in Jesus' name and her hip pain and her back pain. Take that all away in Jesus' name. And I pray for Shauna, Lord. I pray as Shauna had surgery to remove the endometriosis in her body, that Father, that it will not grow back that the endometriosis will not grow back, that she will have no more bleeding, no more pain, no more endometriosis in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray now for all of us that have that have diabetes. I pray, Father God, for Keith, for Penny, for Sonia, for Colleen, for Jim, for Jeff, for me, for Bob, for anybody who's out there right now who has diabetes but is and is praying this prayer I just with me I just pray for them as well I put them in this prayer as well and I pray Father God that you will just bring our A1Cs down to normal levels that you will bring our blood sugars numbers every day when we take our glucose numbers they will be in normal levels <coughs> not too high not too low even but they will be just right in Jesus name and Lord I do pray now that you will be with Tammy, my love's eyes, that you will touch and heal her eyes today, that 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 you will just that she will be able to see clearly today in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray that you will just be with that you will just be with them, um, be with Dorothy's daughter. I do pray that you will continue to work all things out for her. As Lord, she is doing much better. I just pray that she will continue to do much better because she will continue to stay in the situation 
and that you will continue to bless that situation. Give Dorothy and her husband the wisdom they need to be able to deal with their daughter right where she's at. In Jesus' okay, name. take it. Now, and Lord, Lord, I do pray that Jesus you will just be with, with. that you will just be with, um, that, that you will just be with Don't all of us having mental me. health issues. I pray, Father God, for DID, for, for PTSD, for schizophrenia, for, for depression, for, for anxiety, for, for fear, for, for Lord, for any mental health issue. Anyone praying this prayer with me that has any mental health issue, I just am putting them in this prayer right now, Lord, in Jesus' name. But I mentioned Anne, Mandy, Susie, Anne Marie, Jessica, Becca, me, Stephanie, Travis, David, Gina, Kiki Ann, Deborah, Lord, anybody else who is praying this prayer with me. I put them in this prayer as well. Maybe they might want to, you know, Lord, you know who they are. I just pray that you will just take care of us, Lord, and that you will just give us your peace, your peace that path is all understanding. Give us your joy. Take the depression. Take everything that is oppressing our minds. Lord, just take everything that oppresses our minds and just take it away. Thank you that you are a father who understands us, Lord, and a father that loves us so much that you deliver us in Jesus' name. And Lord, we are also praying now that you will just be with that you will just be with everybody today, Lord, that is having an issue in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray now for Jessica. I do pray that you will just continue to touch and heal Jessica's body, that she will have no more pain, no more seizures, nothing, Lord, but that you will touch and heal her. For Becca, we pray for sweet Becca, that you will be with her, that you will continue to touch and heal her from her fibromyalgia and her arthritis pain. And for Selena, Father, I just pray that you will be with our sweet Selena as well, that you will touch and heal her from her fibromyalgia. In Jesus' name, take her pain away. Take all the health issues she has away. In Jesus' name, just touch and heal her. Walk her through it, Lord. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray that by your stripes, Selena will be healed. And Lord, we are also praying now that you will be with Patricia. Father, as we do not know what Patricia's unspoken need is, you do. I just pray that you will just meet that unspoken need in Jesus' name and that you will bless her today. And Father, I do pray that you will just let her know that you are meeting that need and that you will just walk her through it and that she will see you, that she will see you working in that situation, even today, even now, that she will be able to see you working in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray now that you will just bless us today. I pray, Father God, that you will just bless each and every one of us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to finish feeding Mabel here. You guys are going to be getting probably a lot of change in chats during this time. Um, I might even be doing a change with my mom's baby. And we're going to brush out her hair. And we're going to have my mom feed her. Ooh. I think that would be fun. Don't you, Mom? What? Change your baby and feed her. Yeah. Okay. She sounds really enthused about that one. <laughs> but anyway. Anyhow, guys. Um, anyway. That was my explanation. That's why I hadn't been around. Um, and anyway, this is our Wild Wednesday video as well. Hosted by Penny and Keith at Playful Reborns. And yes, I've had a wild couple of days. So several... Several wild things in an investigation, or an explanation, I should say, an explanation, sorry guys, an explanation. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day, and thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us in the York. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. I hope that you guys at least, anyway, had a good time anyway, um, with my mom and I today. So, have a blessed, wonderful day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ark. Bye, guys. We will definitely see you tomorrow.